Good evening, dear Kuwait television viewers, and welcome to another new episode of our weekly program, The Week in 30 Minutes. The English News and Political Programs Department has prepared a variety of reports that highlights the main events that have recently taken place across Kuwait. Our committed team of reporters is constantly engaged in numerous events with the objective of keeping you, dear viewers, aware of the latest information, regulations, policies, and to be up to date with the local scene. Tonight's program includes a variety of reports such as a special interview with our guest of honor, the Secretary General of the Kuwait House for National Work, Embassy Celebrations and events that must be of interest to you, our, lo our loyal audiences. So please stay tuned for more to come your way this evening. Dear viewers, thank you once again for joining us with your show, The Week in 30 Minutes. The first report comes from our correspondent, Hib Abdurrahman, where she was present at the following event. Under the patronage, His Highness Sheikh Jaber and Mubarak al Hamid al-Sabah, the Prime Minister, Kuwait Bowling Sporting Club, was inaugurated. The event was attended by Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Sabah al-Salim al Hamoud al-Sabah, and senior officials. Let us watch the following event. His Highness Sheikh Jabir Lombarak al Hamad al Subah, the Prime Minister, said that the Kuwaiti sports people were able to make outstanding achievements, adding that at the behest of His Highness the Emir, the government continues to offer limitless support to the sports people in order to help them hoist Kuwait's flag high at international sports events. His Highness the Prime Minister made the press remarks on the fringe of the inauguration ceremony of the new premises of Kuwait Bowling Sporting Club, which was held under his patronage. The event gathered Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Subah Salim Mahmoud Subah, a number of ministers and senior officials of His Highness the Prime Minister's Diwan, the Minister of State for Youth Affairs, the Public Authority for Youth and the Public Authority for Sport. The inauguration of the new building of the club falls in the framework of the government's support to the sports activities, noting that the building adds to the list of sporting offices opened in Kuwait in the recent years. His Highness the Prime Minister promised that the government will continue backing up the Kuwaiti youth and meet their aspirations in the coming years, commending the role of the Public Authority for Sports PAS, in promoting the sports movement in Kuwait. Meanwhile, PAS Director General Sheikh Ahmed Mansour Subah said that the state-of-the-art sports facilities will give a quantum leap forward to the sports movement in the country. PAS is keen on implementing the sports projects in keeping with the world's latest standards with a view fostering the talents of the younger generation. The executive board of PAS is working on a number of key projects, notably the Sheikh Saad Al Abdullah Indoor Complex, which will be a model venue for basketball and volleyball games. Sheikh Ahmed thanked the political leadership for supporting PAS and His Highness the Prime Minister for attending the inauguration ceremony of the bowling club. On his part, Sheikh Talal Mohammed Al Sabah, President of the Asian Bowling Federation (ABF) and Kuwait Bowling Federation (KBF) said that the new building of the club will encourage the club's members to make new achievements in the coming period. The club will host the World Bowling Championship, which will be held for the first time in the Middle East in 2017, and the Asian Championship the following year. After the ceremony, His Highness the Prime Minister toured the facility of the club and was briefed on the services it will offer to the bowling players and the preparations for the coming sports events. From Kuwait Bowling Sporting Club, I am Hab Abdurrahman reporting for the week in 30 minutes.
In our second report for this evening, the 41st edition of the International Book Fair kicked off with the participation of 563 Arab and foreign publishers. This year's fair comes as part of Kuwait's celebration of its title as the capital of the Islamic culture for the year 2016. Ibn Abdurrahman has more details. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Jabir Lombarak Al Hamad Al Subah, the Prime Minister, Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Subah Al Salim Al Al Subah, inaugurated the 41st edition of the International Book Fair, where 563 Arab and foreign publishers are taking part in. Arab and foreign publishers are keen on partaking in the Kuwaiti Fair, which is the second oldest Arab book fair. This year's fair coincides with the celebrations marking Kuwait as the capital of Islamic culture and many new local, Arab and international publications are on display. The fair features a diverse cultural program that copes with the literary and cultural movement in Kuwait and involves lectures, symposia, poetic seminars and workshops. Kuwait Book Fair is a cultural event that reflects the state's high interest in culture. Sheikh Salman loaded the youth effective participation in the fair with their writings as well as with their organizing efforts, expressing pleasure to see many students at the fair. The minister hoped that the fair would fulfill its role for backing culture in Kuwait also through a multitude of lectures on youth, toleration and moderation. From the International Fairground in Mischief Area, I am Heb Abdurrahman reporting for the week in 30 minutes. We're very lucky to have with us tonight a very special guest who has been very active in the field of national works and solidarity with his beloved country, Kuwait. Please let us welcome the Secretary General of Kuwait House for National Works, Engineer Riyad Arabia. Engineer Riyad, thank you for joining us this evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you. I'm honored to be your guest. Let us watch uh, this report and we will be right back with our guest. Kuwait House of Four National Works celebrated the International Day commemorating the victims of traffic accidents, part of its social responsibilities serving Kuwait. Retired General Nasser Al Anizi, the event's uh, lecturer, presented various uh, information about the celebration of the International Day, including traffic awareness, dangers of traffic accidents, and guidelines of traffic disciplines and rules. There is more on the event in this report by Salim Kandiri. Out of its obligations and commitments to the civil society, Kuwait House for National Work celebrated the memorable International Day commentating the victims of the traffic accidents held at its premises in Shuaikh area. Kuwait House for National Work was established back in 1996 by Dr. Yusuf Al-Amiri and this house represents the national unity of Kuwaitis and also documented the history of Iraq invasion to Kuwait back in 1990. This house contains two major buildings, the museum and the banquet hall, where we are going to hold so many sessions serving the Kuwaiti community. This house is open for all Kuwaitis, no restrictions. We focus on national unity for all Kuwaitis. No difference what matter is because Kuwait comes first. The event included various information in regards to the traffic guidelines, awareness and the dangers of such accidents on the health and other issues. Kuwait House for National Works is keen on holding various events in the sake to serve the public and Kuwait. From Kuwait House for National Works, this is Salim Kendiri reporting for the week in 30 minutes. Dear viewers, uh, with we, uh, we are back rather with our guest.
Engineer Riyad, can you tell us more about this event and the lecture? Sure. Uh, as a part of Kuwait House of National Works, CSR Corp is social responsibility toward the society of Kuwait. Kuwait House uh, celebrated and organized a lecture about the International Day of the Victims of the uh, Traffic Accidents in our new banquet hall, which was, this is the first session in this year. We're going to have more sessions uh, in the near future. And the main objectives of this sessions or this uh, uh, traffic, uh, uh, International Day Traffic Accident Okay, it's just to spread the awareness among the people in Kuwait about the danger, about the uh, uh, the number of casualties that happen every year, and also uh, to show the effect socially and economically on the society of Kuwait. Because losing people means losing money. Losing people means losing lives and and losing families. So we're trying to really make people aware about the danger of the violation of the traffic. People just take it easy. Youth people are really, maybe they don't care about their lives, but they have families back home. Sure. Husbands, yeah. they have wives back home. Moms have children back home. So they should really think about home before everything. That sounds good. Uh, since we're in the winter and it's raining, you find a lot of accidents on the streets. Sure. Uh, people are using their mobiles nowadays. Sure, sure. Now, actually, we, are, uh, we just uh, delivered and we are going to provide anybody who wants uh, that there's a flyer or there's a booklet about the, uh, the laws and the rules of the, of the traffic laws in Kuwait. Mm -hmm. It's going to be it's open. It's free for everybody to come to our Kuwait house and get it. That's perfect. What other events and activities Kuwait House for National Works uh, is planning to hold and organize maybe in the future? Actually, we just finished our action plan for this year, uh, starting uh, November uh, 2016 till May 2017. We're going to have a lot of, uh, of lectures, uh, so twice a month. It's going to include mm -hmm. uh, social lectures, uh, cultural lectures, uh, women, children and any other aspect of social activities. So everybody's welcome to participate in this uh, lecture and anybody who wants to deliver as a speaker, they are also welcome. Wow. Uh, can you tell us more about your organization specifically and the nature of its work? Yeah, Kuwait House for National Work is a, a self-funded entity, mm -hmm. was founded by in early 1997 by Mr. Yusuf Al-Amiri and a group of Kuwaiti citizens. The nature of the house started as a museum of the invasion by Saddam regime back uh, 1990, August 2nd. Okay, and this uh, museum uh, has like 10 sections. Can I mention them? Can yeah, I sure. mention? Yeah, can sure. I mention this? This is the, the museum. Mm -hmm. uh, has 10 sections. There's a Reception Hall, Kuwait Heritage Hall, the Invasion of Tunnel, Cinema, uh, uh, Hand-Drawn Panorama, Hall of Peace, Photo Exhibition Hall, A Story of Immersion, and Open Panorama. There are three sections, and there are three, 33 countries, sections for each country that have participated in the liberation of Kuwait. The purpose of this house is just to keep the memory of invasion for the new generation and for the future generation. Because all the people who were born after the invasion, they don't know anything about yes. the invasion. And sure. we think as our responsibility as Kuwaitis, just to keep this memory, to keep the Kuwaiti as a unit, okay? to keep as a one family, to, to teach our children what happened and to learn. Like what we are going through nowadays, there's so many things that are going on. Uh, we need this kind of uh, lessons to learn and this house is I think it represent as a historic monument for Kuwaiti unity and uh, Riyadh, do you have other information or ideas you would like to share with our audience maybe yes in uh, uh, we are only volunteers okay just purely volunteers mm -hmm. okay everybody's a volunteer we have about 50 volunteers in this Kuwait house uh, and out of this house uh, of Kuwait House, we had three, I want to say, I don't want to say sub-organization, but let's, let's start with the first one. The first one is the uh, uh, Kuwait-China Friendship Committee, where we have a good relation. We represent the China 
uh, in Kuwait, mm -hmm. ch Chinese people, not the Chinese <laughs> government, because our slogan is people to people. We don't, we, our slogan is public diplomacy. Uh -huh. So we are all, only working with, the public. with, yeah, with people, okay? Mm -hmm. No politics, no, no religion, okay? Only, only, only people, okay? And actually we visited China about two years ago and we had a good visit. They offer us all the facilities to come to Kuwait or we go to China to exchange culture, okay, uh, literature, media, whatever. Uh, this is really, uh, it's a big support for us. And we're trying to, to, to represent Kuwait in a best way, okay, not only oil and camel. We represent <laughs> Kuwait as a very civilized, educated people, of okay. Course. And this is one of the things. Uh, the second thing uh, I want to say after, after the revolution in Egypt, uh, 2015, I think, in mm -hmm. January, yes. uh, we felt like we need, we need to support the youth in Egypt, okay, because uh, what they are going through was terrible. So uh, Mr. Yusuf Amir established a committee called GCC Citizens Who Loves Egypt. And we have members from the Gulf area and from Kuwait, from everywhere, that just to give them support and, uh, and to attract attention for their needs. And the most important thing that we are working on it now is something called Kuwait House for Peace and Friendship with the People of the World. I think this is something that really helped us change the impression about Kuwait abroad. Uh, we signed uh, 28 protocols, like a uh, memorandum of understanding with the 28 embassies in Kuwait. We have a lot of cooperation mm -hmm. with visiting and uh, actually we got so many invitations from, uh, we visited, what, when, two years ago?